Got the engine and transmission out of the Mustang. It was quite the ordeal, as you probably saw. Uh, but now it's time to strip all the other parts out of the Mustang. I'm going to be trying to keep some of the parts for the Cobra, some of the parts I'm going to sell, and the rest I'm going to have to scrap. So when I bought the Mustang, I bought it from another state and uh, bought it online. So the only info I had on the car were some pictures and a small description. But basically when I got the car, it was in much, much worse shape than I thought it would be. And a lot of the parts that I was hoping on selling or using on the Cobra were uh, basically destroyed. So unfortunately it wasn't as good as a deal as I was hoping the Mustang would be, but uh, we're gonna make the best out of it. And this, these are the parts I'm gonna be keeping, and these are the parts I'm gonna be selling. As far as keeping, um, the brakes, the rotors, the calipers, uh, the brake booster, the pedals, all of that was really good. So we're gonna be keeping that. The pedals for the accelerator um, and the master cylinder, all of that, all good. The fuel system, including the fuel pump, that worked. Maybe some of the fuel plumbing might keep that for the Cobra. All the engine wiring, so I don't plan on getting like an aftermarket harness because those cost a lot of money. Uh, we're going to try and reuse the engine wiring in the Mustang, uh, including the PCM, and then uh, I also included the cluster in case that's needed for any kind of uh, engine running requirements. Uh, also kept the steering, so the power steering, I'm keeping that, the rack, the column. Hopefully all of that can be transferred into the Cobra. As far as selling, I'm going to be try, I'm going to try and sell any trim pieces that are worth anything. Uh, I'll look on eBay and see what they're worth and strip them out and then sell them. Speakers, try to sell those. The taillights are in really good condition, so those can easily be sold. Some climate parts, gonna see if those can be sold. The blower, the controls, those seem to be worth some money. And then the, the wiring harnesses for the interior of the vehicle. So like the IP harness, uh, those go for a lot of money on eBay. I'm gonna hopefully get those out of the Mustang and be able to sell them. Everything else is pretty much scrap, so the drive line was completely destroyed. The drive shaft was junk. The rear end just completely trash. So that's gone. Gonna have to scrap that. All the wheels were broken. I was really hoping, based on the pictures, a lot of them look good, but they were all cracked. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to sell any of the wheels. The seats were really filthy probably before the crash and then after the crash it only made it worse and then the body was just destroyed so I don't know if it it rolled into a ditch or something like that but all the panels all the body panels on the Mustang were just completely destroyed and it's unlikely I can really sell any of those so we're going to scrap pretty much most of the vehicle like I said I'm going to try and sell some of it and keep a few parts here and there for the Cobra but at the end of the day, this is basically a, a car that just is going to get completely scrapped. About to take the IP out of here. Um, took the door off, fender. Kind of stripped all the uh, all the stuff out of the door. So you got the mirror there. Um, you know some trim panels, the window motor. Trying to get. We're gonna try and sell those on eBay, but we'll see. And then uh, there's the rest of the door. Probably just gonna scrap that or put it back on here when we scrap the whole car. All right, so. Gonna rip out that uh, IP. Hopefully it's uh, not too bad of a job.
but uh, we'll see. It's going to be definitely heavy. Alright, so I think I have uh, all the bolts out. Um, on each side there's two bolts over there. There's one down there. There's a bunch of cable harnesses you have to disconnect here on the right after you take the trim panel off. Um, there's a bolt behind the cluster. Another two on this side. One down there. Two on this side right here. And then on the other side of the center console, there's another one right there. I think that's it. Um, I took the steering wheel off just uh, for some more clearance. Um, the cluster comes out pretty easy, just four bolts on all the side. You just, and the trim that goes around it, you just pull it out. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, yeah, there's two bolts right here that you have to also get rid of. Um, had to so get in at the two bolts here it's pretty difficult had to unbolt the door it still doesn't even really come off but it's you know this door is a mess completely caved in but I was able to kind of squeeze in there to get a few of the bolts off um, so I'm gonna start yanking on this right now alright so I forgot uh, two important things this bolt there's a bolt right here on the steering column that you have to undo and then the steering column will just uh, fall apart like that and then there's also a an electrical electrical connector that you have to disconnect that goes to the airbag module right there so you got to get rid of that it's this one right here
All right. It said you needed two people, but I got it out. It's pretty heavy. Um, all right, so that's what it looks like. I found an IP in the car. It's kind of cool. I've never seen this before. So next, I'm uh, going to work on the steering column and the pedals here. Get those out because I'm going to scavenge those and uh, maybe try to take the HVAC unit out so I can sell that. I've been working a lot on the Mustang. This is the interior, almost completely stripped out. Still got a little bit more of the wiring harness to disconnect. Uh, up here in the front, the, the wipers are still connected. Um, I probably could just cut the wire, but I want to harness the wipers as well, so might as well um, keep the wiring intact. Pulled out some of the seat belts already. Still want to get the seat belt over here uh, in the back there, but I already took those out. There's some wiring going back there. I'm gonna unplug that. Took the IP out, the HVAC system. Took out all the ECUs and those pieces. Trying to sell them on eBay. Took out tail lights. Anything really that that's small enough to ship, cheap and. Uh, worth some money took it out of here it's all kind of sitting here on the bench just waiting to get sold there's an AC compressor so almost done with this um, 
probably once I get those last few items out. Like, let's see what I got. I got um, side lights, the exhaust I still have to get out, the rear brakes, the seat belts, the emergency brake, and the wipers. Once I get those done, I'm um, going to drag this out and finally have some more space in the garage because it is a mess right now. Got an engine right there. This is just a total disaster. So, a lot of work to do. Getting really close to getting this thing out of the garage. I just took this out of there. It wasn't too bad. Um, getting the brake, the emergency brake lines out was a pain in the butt. I ended up just cutting a hole with the sawzall. Um, all I got left to do is this harness right here. Just a little, some stragglers back there that need to be pulled out. Um, then I want to take the, uh, the trunk off and that's it. <laughs> when I pulled the, uh, this guy out of there, the whole car crashed forward. It's now, you'll see it on the time lapse. But yeah, getting really close to dragging this out the garage. Unfortunately, my, uh, camera ran out of, uh, storage when we were filming it, but we just used the F-150 to drag the 
Mustang out to the curb here so that the uh, tow truck can take it away. Now it's time to clean up the garage. Car's gone, bunch of junk left. So this was uh, one of the rear arms in the Mustang. And I couldn't get it off so I, I saw a zawed it, but this thing was filled with lead pellets. This made a mess in my garage here. I have no idea why they put lead pellets inside of there, it's weird. So I'm filming this uh, quite a while after stripping the Mustang. Um, I've had enough time to sell a lot of the parts that I stripped out. Um, so this is kind of a budget of how the Cobra's going. Uh, like I said in one of the earlier videos, I'm trying to, to build this thing for under $10,000. Uh, right now I'm at 5,676 put into the, um, put into the Cobra. Uh, I think I've, you know, bought most of the main aspects of the Cobra, but who knows, you know, that maybe that budget was, was uh, crazy. But what we got right now is we got the body. Um, I put in the cost of all the tubing that I bought for the frame. Um, I bought the driver's seat. I bought uh, some safety harnesses. Uh, the donor Mustang, that's where most of the cost is. Um, You'll see a, a good trend in here is that I'm spending a lot on shipping. So getting the body to my house, getting the Mustang to my house, uh, that was like um, eighteen hundred dollars, just those two. So a lot of money is spent on shipping. Um, also, but the good thing about the Mustang is I did make a decent amount back uh, selling some of the parts. You can see all of them listed out here. Um, anyways. What we're at right now is five thousand six hundred and seventy-six dollars for the for the total investment so far into the car. Um, there's obviously a lot more work to do on it, uh, but I think we're pretty good as far as as the parts. I think I have a lot to work with right now, and uh, it won't be till the final stages that I think I'll have to start investing a lot more money. Um, but uh, here it is. Um, and we'll, we'll get to building the, the actual Cobra. One thing I forgot to add, um, so I did end up scrapping, as you just saw, scrapping the Mustang. Um, the cost of towing the Mustang to the scrapyard uh, offset the cost that I got for the actual uh, scrap value. Uh, so that's why it's not in here, but um, I basically broke even as far as the, the scrapping of the car.